Hello, I'm Raul. And I'm Duke. So we're here at Westside Training Center in Los Angeles. And so we want to try to uh, like discuss maybe a catch wrestling uh, perspective on a common jiu-jitsu position. Okay, so since Duke here is our resident jiu-jitsu expert, uh, I'll let him uh, lead. Okay, so he's going to describe the position here. All right, so this is... Uh this is going for a knee slice or knee slice knee cut guard pass, which is one of the more common uh, modern guard passes in in jiu jitsu these days. Um, it's also really common. I mean, it's also a, it's a great and effective pass, and it's also really common in nogi. And um, Rolo is going to show us uh, just a potential counter. So if I'm going for a, a guard pass, for example, somehow if I can get um, get Raul on his back, ideally, if, if there's any way I can get him on his back, that would be great, and I can immediately initiate the guard pass. I want to um, put my hand on his knee and get uh, other hand on his ribs, get him over to the side, block his, uh, block the knee shield with my elbow here, and then I just start sliding through. Now really common, probably the most common and, and the best, what makes the most sense is for Raul to avoid the club at all costs, avoid me underhooking his head at all costs. If he doesn't, if he starts pushing on my knee, for example, with both hands, I mean, yeah. this would be a, a, a bad way of doing it, I can just club and pass. And so, that's not a, a good strategy. He needs to avoid the, the, the club, and so as I'm coming through, if he, he avoids the club this way, this is sort of the traditional Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu defense. But why don't, when I was showing Raul this pass, um, he had another, another idea of uh, defending the, the discard pass. Okay, so um, you can still kind of, if you want to still kind of start that frame up, but this should allow you to kind of sense where uh, their arm is in space here, just because I'm touching them here. And so if the, if the club comes in, right, so go ahead and start, so you can actually then grab the wrist. So you can still frame here, right, grab the wrist, and then actually, since a lot of the force is coming in, you can kind of deflect it, and then set up your, your double wrist lock here, right, and then if you want, you can go total catch wrestling style. You can throw him over, or you can try to take it up his back, right? So you can try to bridge him, right? And then bring him over nice and nice and easily, right? Yeah. And uh, one other thing about this that I like, um, if you could just scoot a little bit over this way, yeah. um, is that there's certain, there are certain times, if I'm going through and I'm um, on defense, if I'm on roll, rolls position, right? If my knee isn't through yet, there's a lot you can do to defend and keep your distance. You can work for this knee shield. You can, um, you have a lot of options. But once my knee hits the ground and I'm past the shield, you're sort of in, you know, you're sort of in this, this last ditch effort kind of territory. I mean, one of the things you can do is you can struggle, like, like uh, to get this, uh, squeeze the, the ankle, like right here, so that, you know, I'm in this position where if the, traditionally you'd be blocking right here, right. here. Totally. Yeah, and I'm just like, I'm just, eventually I'm going to get this underhook. Eventually I'm going to beat this frame somehow and then kick this leg through. But this is a really good option if you're in one of these situations where the knee is already to the ground, uh, the, the, knee, uh, the knee, your own knee shield has been beat, and, and then the person is looking to, to get the, the, um, the club. All right. Thanks for watching. Thank you.